Right, so Ross Bray. Ross the voice Bray, you're a bit of a legend in the dark world. How's it going? It's going really good, James Right Shane. Yeah, loving it at the moment. Very, very busy with the darts and uh, lots of other bits and pieces as well, because I don't just do darts, you know, it's uh, you have all your irons in the fire somewhere yeah. and, uh, you know, so pick out else, the best bits. What else do you do? Do voiceovers, do a lot of voiceovers um, for, well, my main one that I do at the moment is McCoy's Crisps and uh, I've got, I'm back in the studio on the 3rd or the 2nd of August to do the new McCoy's Crisps advert, mm. which, uh, that's, that's cool. So you're you're the guy in the background. I'm the, I'm the actual guy that does a voiceover. I'm not actually in the advert itself. Right. I do the voiceover. So what is it? Man crisps. That's I can't it. do it. Rich, thick, and unashamedly colossal. Man crisps. What? <laughs> Get it all right on the end. What? Because you can do that with unicorn. Unicorn. The big name in darts. Amazing. You know? So it's, uh, you that's can sort of adjust good. it to an awful lot of things, you know? People must ask you to say the most craziest things. They do. What they What's do. the craziest thing you've had to say? Keep it clean. Oh yeah, absolutely. I didn't, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a bit of a cliche, really, or a bit of a funny, really, because uh, a lot of guys will ask me to give their wife or girlfriend a message on the phone, uh -huh, yeah. but they want it all deep, like you know, yeah. 07 or 08 numbers as they used to be. I think <laughs> not that I've ever called one, but uh, <laughs> you know, they want it all sort of deep and you know, blah blah blah, like that. So uh, you've had you to know, you get a lot of that. But the main thing I get asked to do is 180 because it's 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 it's, it's it's your tag. It's brilliant. Like it is. It's what. Uh, it's what people like to People know hear. you. No, they mightn't even know you, but they know I've got a fantastic voice. face for radio, you know, but uh, once I open my <laughs> mouth... I'm not going <laughs> to comment on that. <laughs> once I open my mouth, um, it's a surprising amount yeah. of people that do Yeah, they nice. recognise you. So, other than darts and voiceovers, yep. you obviously, you're kept probably pretty busy throughout the year. What yeah. do you do when, when you're not doing that? Well, I'm not busy, I'm on a golf course. Golf. Absolutely loving the golf I play at. A load, a load of golf. I play off for 14. I've just come back from Tenerife, funny enough, playing with John Lowe out there. And uh, I happened to win the tournament out there that, oh, we, did you that we've done. Oh, did you? Of course. So you must be pretty handy. What I don't know about my, my handicap's 14, but John will disagree with me. All right, okay. I'll turn around and say it's a lot lower than that. Um, you know, playing it, it probably is now. So, uh, no offence, but is this. Do you get into golf? When you're older, or is it a dark it's thing? It's a young man's sport. It's a young, look at me, it's yeah, a young man's obviously, sport. Obviously, obviously, so it must be the darts connection, because nearly well, every darts player likes to play darts, uh, play golf. Yeah, uh, it's, it's funny because it's just literally four hours, five hours yeah. of pure relaxation. Although you're swinging a golf club, on a golf course, everything else in your mind goes out the window. Yeah. You're not allowed phones on there, or in general, yeah. you're not allowed to have phones on there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, everything everything just goes out of your mind, you're relaxing, concentrating on your golf ball, having a, having a laugh with your mates or if you're in a or local either. competition or yeah. whatever. You know, so it's it's uh it's just great, it's yeah. great, great relaxation. Cool. And what about music? You're I know you're you're big into music and you play a bit of guitar too. <sighs> I play a little bit of guitar very, very badly, but um I can knock up the odd tune. I've got to know the tune because right, I can't yeah. read music. Right, so you um, just pick it up and yeah, just have a go at the chords. Sound. Yeah, I can I can generally knock something out just by the just by the sound of it. But okay. um, music wise, I mean, when I was young, it was uh, I was a big Bowie fan, big David Bowie fan. My favourite rock band, yeah, good dance, <laughs> <laughs> is Led Zeppelin. That's the biggest rock band I've seen them a couple of times cool. in their pomp, and uh, I've seen Bowie as well. And, Absolutely amazing. That's, that's the sort of music I do like. Excellent. But I've got a lot of big mixture. Yeah. And so, um, being on the dart scene, there's a lot of celebrities you probably get to meet through I do. darts because there's so many celebrities are closet dart fans. I tell you what, you would be amazed. I mean, it's um, I went to Wentworth the other week to watch uh, the PGA tour there, mm. and um, the invite was from a guy called Graham McDowell who was just one of the US Masters, you know, and that was, so um, I met him at the docks. I met Stephen Fry the other week yeah. at, uh, at Wembley. Mm -hmm. um, meeting these type of people and all the top stars, you know, that do come along, it's fantastic. It is so fantastic. Really, darts has opened up a whole new 
word for you. Big time, really. big time, because uh, I'm doing a thing in a couple of weeks' time with um, the people out of um, Coronation Street, like right. Michael Lavelle. And, yeah. Uh, I got, I'm not a soap fan, I don't really watch them. But, I love uh, Coronation Street. You do? Oh, well, there you go. You, you'll know who they are. Ashley <laughs> is the other one. Yeah. Someone like that. So I've got a thing with them Excellent. in a couple of weeks' time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's lovely to be able to do them sort of things. So you could say you're um, pretty lucky then? I tell you what, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Do you know that? I'm the luckiest guy in the world. There's no one luckier than me. Other people might think they are, but they're not. Trust me. <laughs> Well, I'm a scaff by trade. I'm a scaffolder by trade, and uh, of course, I don't have to climb up uh, scaffold tubes anymore in the freezing cold in the in November and December, where your hands are sticking to the tubes, and that. I don't have to do that anymore. Excellent. But the warmth of the stage. Great.